Welcome back to the sawmill guys. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video on uh, the sawmill shed here. So today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of how my dad and I built it and kind of the design and the materials used. Let's check it out. Alright guys, this is what you see as you walk into the sawmill first. A little shelf there on the left. Sawmill sits right in the middle. Got the spots for hanging the blades on the wall. There's the 7 degree blades, the 10 degree blades. And then this pile here is the need to be sharpened blades. There's that pile's the biggest, and then there's the sharpener. Up here, we've got a storage loft. Uh, we haven't got much up there yet, but I've got plans for it. Uh, as you can see, we have three windows one on each end and one in the middle. Those all open for airflow for different winds, or if there is no wind, try to get some of the dust out. Uh, the doors, each door is nine foot long, so it opens up to a total opening of 18 feet for loading longer logs. This mill will accept a 16 foot log. We do have electrical in here, ran from the other barn. We've got light switch there plug there and then three plugs on i guess you would call it the back wall and then three led lights with three arms each really lights this place up if you guys like i can put a link to those lights in the description below so the total length on the mill shed is 28 foot inside and 12 foot wide. It's actually worked out very good. Took my dad and I a while to plan exactly what we wanted for size and everything. And uh, as far as constructing it, he was in construction for over 30 years and also a building inspector, so it was really easy. Uh, for him to come up with the design We have a 8 inch wide by 12 inch thick beam up there above the doorway. I believe it was 22 foot long This is a pole barn type construction with four by six uh, treated poles in the ground Here in Michigan, we have to be below the ground 48 inches below the frost line so we don't have any heaving issues with the frost for right now it's a gravel floor I just had the local gravel pit across the road drop me off some stone um, this year or next year we might uh, pour a cement floor in here I think that would be a lot nicer for sawdust cleanup, which isn't a huge deal because we do have the bucket on the end of the mill where most of the sawdust goes into and then I can walk it out back and empty it into the sawdust pile. All of the boards used in this build were milled by 
my dad and I, except for the 4x6 treated posts that go in the ground, and then the skirt board across the bottom that is in contact with the ground. So we've got true dimension 2x4s, uh, 2x6 rafters, 2x10 up here, uh, 2x6s for the floor joist of the loft. On the roof is just uh, barn steel, 14 foot long sheets. We can take a walk outside and I'll show you the outside. I hope the audio turns out okay because it's kind of windy out today. So on the outside we have uh, board and batten siding. Oops, let me get you guys zoomed out. Board and batten siding, we also milled all that ourselves. And then we have the cedar shake uh, shingles on the small uh, front roof here, just for just for looks. They're above the sawmill sign, and I cut that sawmill sign out on my CNC. I got a couple videos on that. A little saw blade above the window for decoration. You can see it's just a lean lean to style roof. Comes down in the back here. Show you guys maybe if I can reach high enough. The roof is green. Just the green barn steel. Come around the back here. One thing I need to do still is get some gutters on the back here, or a gutter. Uh, definitely need to do that. The rain really splashes up. Uh, down here on the bottom of the building, so we need to get that taken care of Continue along the back here This is the the other end See how the doors open up a little past the building there We've got kind of a little roof built over the door tracks Another good idea my dad had to try to keep the weather off the door tracks a little bit. Back over at this end, I wanted to show you one little problem I run into with this board and bat and siding that we cut. Is once in a while I'll get a, a woodpecker making holes in, a, in the siding. Well, if you guys can see that right there, it's kind of in the shadow, but that's one of the holes they were trying to make. And uh, luckily, I don't know what happened to all the woodpeckers, but they're all, uh, I don't know, they're all missing. So I haven't had any trouble lately, that's good. One of the little piles of logs I got to get cut up for project boards. But that's that's pretty much the mill shed. If you guys have any other questions, I'm sure I've missed quite a bit of stuff, so I can definitely answer your questions, comments down below. Um, be glad to help anyone out. Just do one last walk around here. We did leave the ends open up top there for a little bit of airflow when all the windows and doors are closed to try to help with uh, the sweating on the metal roof which happens when the temperature is colder outside and it stays a little warmer in here.
So that's about it, guys. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, let me know below. I'll answer anything, try to help you out. So thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.